the block, everything that's new. Sipping that motherfucking DS2. I can't fuck with him if he ain't true. They're like, he alright, but he ain't true. Yo, welcome back, guys, to another video. Today, we're going to be doing some big big stuff going on. Yeah, we're, we're actually doing a new radiator install. It's high performance here. It's top quality. It's uh, nice and light. Rated, rated for 900 horsepower. So we're going to throw that in the Z and uh, she's going to be flying, boys. No, I'm just joking, guys. We're, we're actually, uh, if you guys haven't known yet, my car has been blown up for the last two months. Well, we think the motor's blown. I think longer. Yeah, I think I think, I think it's yeah, it's, it's been. I drove it for a little bit while it was still running pretty bad. Uh, we're not 100 percent sure if it's blown, but we we're almost positive. So we're taking it to my buddy's <laughs> shop today, and we're gonna pull the motor out and then get that shipped out to someone who knows a little more about that. And they're gonna put some magic in there. All right, now we gotta get all this shit off the car. Just so people don't spaz the fuck out, it's a wrap. We wouldn't have put the bumper on top of the car if it wasn't wrapped. The wrap's yeah. coming off anyway. Yeah, we might actually take the wrap off when the shell, I'm not sure. <laughs> but Pylons, just to make sure everyone sees the car here. Look at this, boys. This is, this is what's causing me all of my problems. You know? <laughs> get a race car, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Next thing you know, you're spending thousands of dollars just to get it back on the street. Oh well. That's the coach. Guys, how to get this out? Oh, that's easy. Steer. It's a little fucking weird. This car's been out of the garage in a while. Damn, guys, in some actual light for once. It looks dusty as fuck. I don't know, on, on camera it actually looks super clean, but it's pretty dusty. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Yeah. Learned how often you used to clean it. This is like yeah. the worst. Look from this angle up here. Like at the root. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. There's a whole lot oh, of yeah. dust on this bitch. Oh, yeah. Well, she's out. You think the tow truck's going to help from you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, that's why we did. <laughs> so we uh, we attached this um, tow hook right here for the guy who's coming with the tow truck. Put a nice quality tie wrap on there. Hopefully that it holds. Hold. Good for 3,000 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Maybe more. So, yeah, we're good. Nothing to worry about. Alright guys, we're getting the truck out here. Yeah, it just reverses right into it. Boom. Getting the car up on the lift. All right, guys, got the car up on the tow truck. So Nick is at, at the... Yeah, he's at his shop right now. Yeah, we're going to pull the motor out of it. Yeah, I, bl I blew the motor up like a few months ago and it's just been sitting in the garage. So it's time to pull it out and then rebuild it. <laughs> Alright, sweet. <laughs> Tried to make the jump, didn't get it. Let's go. Attempt number two. He <laughs> got it. <laughs> Yo, is that a fed? <laughs> Look at the clearance on this right here. Oh my god. 
Should be good. All right, guys, the race car is over there getting towed away. And we're in this golf cart going to the shop. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. First time that Nismo's been on the road in months, boys. <laughs> <laughs> as dumb as it sounds, it looks good on the tow truck, though. Not that you'd want your car to look good on a tow truck, but... This is the race car, look, the boost gauge. <laughs> You hear that, boys? That spool? <laughs> Chilling on the tow truck. The shop that's like hooking it up. Here's the mechanic himself, the, the A1. <laughs> if you want this fucking behemoth over here to rip apart your car, you gonna give him a bus deal there? Eh? He's saying that. Saying fuck, fuck all you guys. Songs, bro. <laughs> all right, guys, we are at the shop. Got our boys Camaro sitting here, pretty. Lots of changes coming to this thing soon, so keep an eye out for him. Check out his Instagram right there. I got the fucking blessed job here. I just get to sit around and film these fucking goons pushing this shit. Oh, uphill battle. Go, go, go. I got the This guy just bought a twenty thousand dollar tool kit that's like three times the size of this one. <laughs> hey guys, this this toolbox is already huge. <laughs> hey, estimate how long is this gonna take you? All weekend, bro. <laughs> Straight full weekend project. I'm thinking we'll unbolt the full front clip. Yeah. So, right here, that whole thing comes off with your rod, your cooler, everything. That gives us a lot of space to work. We'll have to drain all your AC out. Uh, I'll see if I can take it out with the cats because I'm straight up just pointing it right out the front end. Hopefully, not too much of the supercharger kit has to come off. Like, I'll probably disconnect. Actually, fuck, the whole thing's gonna Is he gonna need the supercharger kit, though? No, if it's not fucked, it should be fine. I do know if it's fucked. Well, I guess taking it off, you might be able to. Yeah, I'll be able to tell. Alright, let's get this started. <laughs> Bro, that's fitment. That's A1 fitment. You've never seen this thing up on a voice tub? Not once before. When I got it to you. Bruh, Subi's WRX gap be like. 
Why well, then? It's Not body. No holes. <laughs> so we found the issue. We're pretty positive of even ripping the motor out. The supercharger is leaking oil, like greased up times ten. Look at all this shit. You can tell as soon as we rip the pan off, too. The catch pan, like it's all right under where the supercharger would be. So that's one issue down. Or at least diagnosed, not done.